Every day, enormous amounts of energy are wasted in factories and surprisingly in electric generation plants. The most common form of waste energy is the heat that you see rising from smokestacks. Capturing and recycling this energy is a fairly simple concept. In fact, Thomas Edison did it in his first power plant in 1882. Unfortunately, a series of policy barriers just stand in the way of developing this kind of clean energy. These policies even discourage and sometimes prevent projects from becoming reality. Let's look at the changes needed to remove these obstacles. All right, barriers are surprisingly common. Current regulations, for instance, often make it hard for clean energy projects to sell their power to consumers, mostly because they can't get access to the electricity grid. And while the Clean Air Act has certainly cleaned the air, it's also increased greenhouse gases by discouraging energy efficiency. Isn't it time we think outside the box to lower greenhouse gas emissions and save consumers money? Here are two ideas. A Clean Energy Standard Offer Program, or CSOP, would encourage private investment in clean projects. A CSOP would allow utilities to obtain clean power at a discount to new conventional plants. CSOP involves two simple steps. First, utilities and regulators determine the true cost of building the best new conventional generation and the wires to deliver the power to users. This is what new power would cost without a CSOP program. Second, utilities then offer long-term contracts to any energy plant that can deliver new clean power for 15% less money. 15% cheaper, everybody wins. CSOP will encourage entrepreneurs to recycle presently wasted energy. It's that simple. Another way to dramatically reduce greenhouse gas emissions and save on electricity bills is to allow businesses to buy and sell carbon credits directly without a government intermediary. This is vastly superior to the alternative in which the government gives or sells allowances to polluters. While the second approach puts trillions in government coffers, it fails to provide an incentive to invest in greenhouse gas reduction. Instead, output-based pollution allowances encourage efficiency by rewarding those who use less fossil fuel to make electricity. With such allowances, clean power producers are able to sell their credits directly to polluters. This lowers the price of energy by rewarding those who can make power cleaner and cheaper. Over time, dirty polluters go away and clean energy providers prosper. Recycled energy development is changing the way the world makes power. We work with manufacturers to capture and recycle their waste energy, lowering greenhouse gas emissions and lowering energy costs. Visit recycle-energy.com to learn more.